just wanted to make this video. I had actually already made it, but for some reason the camera that I was using wasn't working right and the video didn't record at all. So this is actually in two parts. Um, I have one part showing up close and one part which was the intro unboxing. Intro unboxing didn't work so I'm going to redo it now. I don't really remember exactly what I said in my other video because I haven't watched it. So when I put them together, if there's a lot of repeats, I apologize. But um, Josh and I ordered our proper wedding rings from Sapphire Studios. And they came in yesterday. And we were super stoked because they are beautiful rings. And we had heard that they look so much better in person than they do online. And they already look really, really, really nice online. So um, just to cut it short, this is the unboxing, not unboxing, and then... Um, I'll snippet it with the other clip. Uh, it came in a bigger box than I thought it would. So this is the box that it comes in. And now I, I think I said in my other video that um, I'd looked everywhere online for an unboxing slash up close review of these rings and I couldn't find any. Um, not of the, the brands that we got, the designs that we got, sorry. And so I really wanted to make one myself for people that might be curious as to what these rings actually look like in person. So this is what the box looks like when you get it. It's a nice big magnetized box. Um, inside it looks like this. And it says that on the inside, which is what is on their website. And it comes, the rings come wrapped in nice black tissue paper. And inside you get these cute little bags and in the bags you get your ring boxes and uh, this is nothing really this is the bottom of the bag um, the ring box looks like this and inside is a, a proper ring box so then it looks like this and, and this is what it looks like in, in person I did show a close-up of it which I'll, I'll add because it's got mine and Josh's but on your finger it is really impressive and it is really really beautiful um, it's big, but it's not big and ugly. It's just really, really nice. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's very blingy. <laughs> the skulls are actually um, great quality. They're not cheap and cheesy looking um, at all in person. They're understated and small. You've got all your diamonds around it. This is how high it juts out. It does stick out quite far, but it also is extremely shiny. It is a beautiful, shiny, shiny, shiny ring, and I love it. I, I find myself like just staring at it all throughout the day. It's it's really cool, and um. His ring is also beautiful. It's not as blingy, of course, as a girl's ring, but it is really nice. And so I'm, I'm really happy with this ring. I couldn't find it, like I said, online, so there it is. And uh, I'll add the snippet, and that's about it. This is my ring on. I'm not going to wear this one because it just, I don't, I mean this is really beautiful, 
but it should have been flat because the way this design is means that this doesn't fit flat on your finger and it, it's not actually really comfortable. It doesn't fit up here or up here very well. So I'm just going to leave it off. But that's right because this is pretty enough on its own. And Josh. That's what it looks like in his manly hand. <laughs> Zoom out on the manly hand. <laughs> and um, that is also beautiful. I'm very happy. Me too. These are, these were pretty expensive. Uh, not bank breaking, but they were not cheap. And um, these are the ones we're going to stick with forever. And I'm happy with that. We were thinking about getting traditional rings, but the traditional ring design that they have looks a lot like the cheapy $10, $20 rings. And um, if we were going to actually put substantial money into a ring this time, we wanted it to be, you know, different and able to be set apart from those cheaper rings. So that's what we did. And I think together they look very, very good. Yay!